you guys. It's day one. I'm so excited. It's a dance party. Oh, yeah. The dogs are barking. See? They're crazy. They heard me talking. They didn't know who I was talking to. And they still think there's somebody out there. We are making caramel apple pie crust cookies from this wonderful cookbook from a friend of mine, The Recipe Girl from Lori Lang. So I'm going to be making Lori's caramel apple pie crust cookies. I'm going to roll out the dough. I've had it in the refrigerator overnight. I just figured I'd get a head start on it yesterday. Okay, I'm going to roll out the dough and then put the cookies together and then it's going to go back into the fridge, or the freezer actually, uh, to sit for an hour. One of the best pieces of advice that I have for you today is to make sure that you read the recipe thoroughly before you get started on it because I didn't do that yesterday a couple times with something I was making and um, ended up messing things up and didn't follow directions. And if you don't follow directions in the recipe, something's gonna not turn out right. Read the recipe thoroughly before you start it. So then you won't have any problems, or at least you shouldn't. So the dough has been rolled out and it's supposed to be rolled into a nine by 12 inch rectangle with the long side facing you. So obviously you can see that my rectangle is not exactly perfect, but that's one of the things that I wanna show you guys this 365 days. Things don't have to be perfect, okay? You're not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect, and I want you to. Sh I want to show you that you can do this. That you can cook. You can have fun in the kitchen. It's all about experimenting. It's all about just getting in there and doing it. And I'm sure, I'm sure that there are going to be recipes <laughs> this 365 that don't turn out. But you're going to be here to see them. Things are going to get burnt. Things are not going to come out right. And we'll just go with the flow. But I want you to be able to do it. I want you to be able to try it. I don't want you to be scared. I want you to have fun, okay? So that's what it's all about. So, we'll put the cinnamon on it, and now I've got this apple that I'm gonna be cutting up, and we're gonna put that into it. Now, I'm gonna roll it up. So what I would suggest is on this top um, edge, leave a little bit of space uh, without the cinnamon and the apples, just so you can dot it with the egg wash so that it can adhere uh, when you roll it up and I didn't leave enough space so I had some cinnamon in there which made it more a little more difficult uh, for the dough to stick together but I did manage to do it and then I stuck some more egg white on there um, so now it's going to go into the freezer for an hour and then I'm gonna slice it and we'll bake it. Uh, I got these cinnamon apple cookies all sliced took them, the dough out of the freezer so you can see they're on the cookie trays ready to go into the oven 325 for 25 to 30 minutes. So the cookies have come out of the oven and I actually snuck one so that's why there's one missing. It was really yummy. So now I'm going to, I made up the caramel sauce so I'm going to drizzle the caramel sauce over the cookies. And we're just going to go back and forth and then the caramel sauce is going to harden on the cookies. So what I've been forgetting to do um, today is take pictures of the process because I'm trying to take the videos, trying to take the pictures, and I'm forgetting things. So this is the end of day one. Check the blog out. That's where the recipe is. And the Facebook page. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Now we're doing <laughs> I'm stuffing my face. These are really good. <laughs> uh, I forget to add something. Come to the blog, and I will be giving away one of Lori's cookbooks. Check her website out, too. Pretty cool. So, and these cookies are good. You'll like them.